Animal Crossing villagers. You love them, I love them, but which ones do I love most? Find out my top 10 Animal Crossing villagers now. Hello everybody, I'm Random Bystander here, and I love Animal Crossing New Horizons and the Animal Crossing franchise in general. I've made a lot of videos about Animal Crossing, but one thing I love about Animal Crossing that I haven't talked about yet are the villagers. The villagers are my favorite part about New Horizons, and they're honestly so many, like hundreds, absolutely hundreds of villagers. And today, we're going to name my top 10 favorite villagers of all time. Some ground rules. First off, this is my opinion and my opinion alone. There may be some villagers that you love that I may not love as much, and that's totally okay. In fact, if you want to in the comments, list your favorite villagers in the comments below. Tell me what your favorites are and tell me why. I would love to hear it. Second, I'm also going to go with one per animal, if possible, just to give some variety to the list as well. That's about it. Let's get on with the list, starting with number 10 eugene ah eugene there's just something about that cool design that i really adore the koala with the shades and the greaser like jacket it's just super cool and super fun i've never had eugene on an island or in a town and that's why he's honestly so low but you gotta appreciate just how cool he looks plus his catchphrase is yeah buddy yeah, buddy. He's also a smug villager, so he does view himself very highly, but he's still polite and has a kind heart. I think I've encountered him a couple times on Villager Islands, and the only reason I said no to him was because I was looking for someone specific when villager hunting. Otherwise, I probably would have grabbed him in my island by now. Nothing much other than to say to that. Eugene probably would be higher if I actually had some memories with him, but right now, he's number 10, so he just made it. Number nine, Pongo. Or is it Pango? I've heard it pronounced different ways, but I call her Pongo. The only peppy villager on the list, actually. She's a peppy anteater, and I just love her energy and personality. And I've known her since the GameCube days when I had her in my town on the Nintendo GameCube. From the GameCube all the way to New Horizons, she's always been super peppy, has great fashion sense, and now in New Horizons wants to be a pop star. And honestly, I think she's going places. She could totally do it if she sang in the plaza more. I had a lot of fun memories with Pongo. She's very crazy, very out there, always tries to speak out the best way Pongo can, I guess. The only reason she's a bit low is her design is kind of bland. It's not bad, don't get me wrong. I do enjoy it. It's just okay, nothing too crazy. But even then, she still made the list and I still enjoy her in my island. She's not leaving anytime soon. Number eight, Apollo. Apollo is a very interesting one. Again, one that I've never had on my town or island, but I just love this guy's design. Sure, he's a bald eagle, so immediately you're thinking about America. Heck, his birthday is on July 4th. How patriotic can you get? Not to mention that, but he also appeared in the Animal Crossing movie. He had a garden and he was pretty cool. He also had a thing with Whitney, but she's not on the list. Spoilers. He's also a cranky villager. And honestly, the cranky villagers are underrated. I haven't run into Apollo yet, but if I did run into him, it would be very difficult to say no to him. I probably would if I was looking for another villager, but it would be very difficult. Number seven, Ellie. A lot of people actually really, really like Ellie, and I can see why. She was actually another GameCube villager that I had growing up, so that's why I have some nostalgia with her, even though I never had her in any other games. Plus, you have to admire her design. It's simple and adorable, and those rosy cheeks are just so cute. She also was my favorite normal villager for the longest time. Not my favorite normal villager now, but definitely back then. Who is? We'll get to that later. She's a gem, she's a sweetheart, and again, if I ran into her in an island tour, it would be very difficult to say no. Number six, Cat. Cat is a very interesting case, as I never had her until New Horizons. I didn't really know what to think of her at first. She was just an islander that I was given, and I thought, you know what, let's make the best of it. But the more I talked to her and got to know her, the more I really enjoyed her character. She's the only sisterly on the list, and honestly, her design with the sisterly personality really makes the difference here and really makes her one of my favorites, and probably a fan favorite as well. 
Plus, there's so many moments that happened with her on stream that were wonderful, including me trying to get her to sing. It happened eventually. Seriously, she has a lovely singing voice, and it's so cute whenever she or any of the other villagers sing. I love it. The only reason I would want her to leave is because she's a starter villager and has that like dirt house. I would want her to leave, but immediately come back just so she could have her regular house. That's the only reason I would want her to leave. Other than that, she's staying. Also, her catchphrase is pretty. Number five, Filbert. There are a lot of adorable squirrel villagers, and a lot of you may be mad that I don't have Marshall right on this spot. But to me, my opinion, Filbert is the better squirrel. Now again, he was in my GameCube town and he was adorable. He's a lazy villager. He calls you bucko. He's named after a nut. I loved him back in the GameCube and just something about his design combined with his lazy personality really stuck with me. Out of all the villagers on this list, he is the most nostalgic, except for one other villager, which we'll get to later. Have I ran into him on an island tour? I would say yes. I don't care if I have two other lazy villagers. I would say yes. Number four, Stu. I chose Stu completely on a whim. He was one of the first villagers I found in an Animal Crossing tour. And I saw him and I was like, you know what? Why not get him? He's a lazy, he seems nice. Why not? And I am so glad I did. The amount of clips and funny moments that happened because of Stu were astronomical. There was just something about the writing for him as a lazy villager that just was so funny and made me laugh so hard and made me really fall in love with this character. Plus his design of a blue cow is simple and cute. So it's really hard to not love him. You know, him and Philbert are blue. They would make great neighbors. Fun fact, he was originally in Animal Crossing, but was cut in Wild World and City Folk but then brought back with the New Leaf Welcome Amiibo DLC. And I'm glad he did, because now he's back in the game and one of my favorite villagers. Number three, Midge. Midge has become my favorite normal villager of all time. Originally, she was in my New Leaf town, and she was just the normal villager of the group. That's about it. Sweet, kind, but nothing really stuck out about her. It wasn't until she was the first villager I found as an island tour in my New Horizons that I really started to like her. Her design is simple but cute, and I love the pink coloring, and she's such a sweetheart. She's always very kind and very appealing. Not to mention the clips forming with her and Mac were so funny and really built up a little arc. Heck, I even made a video about those two villagers getting married in like one of the dumbest and silliest videos of all time, which you can watch, by the way. Yes, again, it is nostalgia for me, but I really grew attached to her in New Horizons and all the fun moments that I had with her in the game and on stream. Number two, Pietro. Pietro is a fun one. Seriously, one of the best designs in the game, hands down. I originally found out about him through Chucka Conroy's Let's Play, and that's when I discovered this beautiful, colorful sheep. One of the most unique designs ever, he's definitely my favorite smug in the game. After all, the idea of a clown sheep is just hilarious to me. It's so odd and puzzling, but at the same time, very charming. You gotta love it. I love this villager so much and wanted him in my island so much that I actually spend actual money, actual real life dollars to get him from Crazy Red's black market and onto my island. That's how much I really wanted Pietro. And can you blame me? He's silly, his catchphrase is honk honk, and when I voice him, I give him this sort of clown voice. <laughs> I love him. Now, before we get to number one, let's get to the villagers that didn't quite make the cut, but I still wanted to talk about anyway. Boomer, my favorite penguin. I love his airport design. I love the fact he's a lazy villager, and I usually give him this voice as well. He reminds me of Sergeant Bird from Spyro, Beer the Dragon. Ribot, a robotic frog. I love the idea and concept, but I never had him as a villager, so I don't have any memories with him. Otherwise, he'd probably be higher up. Chatter. He was originally in my New Leaf Town and one of the first smugs I ever encountered. However, that's really about all his notoriety. I didn't have any special memories with him, and I never really wanted him back in my town. He was cool, though. 
good cheese pun. Deirdre, another villager from my new leaf town and the first deer I encountered as well. She's nice and fits the sisterly role well, but I prefer cat over her. Drago, I love what they did with the design of this character and changing the alligator into a dragon. But in the end, that's the only reason I think he makes this honorable mention. As again, I've never had him in my town. I don't have anything else that makes him stick out on the top of the list. And Goose. And let me tell you, that's a nice. <laughs> and now we get to number one. And let's be honest, if you know me, you probably knew this was coming. Wolfgang. Wolves are one of the most popular species in all of Animal Crossing. Usually everyone has a favorite wolf, whether it's Kyle, Sky, Audie, or even the old one, Dobby, Dobby. But my favorite was Wolfgang. I loved him since the beginning as he was the first villager I ever encountered. Literally, when I was searching for villagers on the GameCube, I happened upon Wolfgang's house and just loved how grouchy he was. But that grouchy front soon turned to a soft, creamy center and we bonded like best friends. There was literally a point where he moved away to my other memory card and I almost cried when I was a kid and I did everything I could to try and bring him back, including have other villagers leave in order to get him back. Not only that, he was in my new leaf town as well as a starter. So not only do I have memories in one game, but two, our friendship transcended games. And thankfully with the help of an amiibo card, I was able to bring Wolfgang to New Horizons and there he's gonna stay for the rest of his virtual life. He's never allowed to leave. But yeah, I love Wolfgang. He's a gem. I love his cranky personality. I love his design as a grayish bluish wolf. What can I say? He's my favorite. And that's my top 10 favorite Animal Crossing villagers. Were there any villagers on this list that you liked? If not, tell me which ones you love in the comments below. I'm thinking about doing my top 10 least favorite Animal Crossing villagers as well. If you'd like to see that, like the video, comment, and even subscribe. If you do, it really does help out. I also have a lot more Animal Crossing content from silly videos to reviews to all sorts of stuff. If you want to check out those videos, check out this wherever it is. Here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good night.